Do you want to strengthen your glutes and your arms, but you're short on time? Well, today's class is just for you. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I've got a short 10 minute Pilates class that will be sure to challenge your hips, your glutes, and our upper body. We're definitely going to be working hard today, even though we've only got 10 minutes to do so. I am using a set of weights to make the upper body a little bit more intense. You can skip it if you know Pilates arms, you don't have to have them. Um, but this class will be sure to target our upper body, our chest, our glutes, and of course we'll get a little bit of tummy work in too. Roll out your mat, let's get started. Let's just start in a comfortable seat, shoulders down, ears high. Take a moment to check in with the body, maybe close the eyes, take a big breath. As you exhale, dip your chin to your chest. Feel like you're giving yourself a double chin there. Eyes can stay open or you can flutter them. I'm sorry, eyes can stay closed or you can flutter them open. Roll your right ear to right shoulder. Come back to center, left ear to left shoulder. Take that small nod side to side just a few times. Bring the chin back down to the center of your chest. Bring your gaze upright, separate, lift, take a big inhale, point your nose to the right, point your nose to the left. Stay looking center, both hands lift high, rotate the pinkies in, grow an inch or two taller. Clasp the hands behind the head, open the elbows nice and wide. Did you display your ribs, wrap them in, take a big inhale, a little lean right. Come back center, a little lean left. Come back centered, tuck the chin to the chest, belly button pulls in as you pull your elbows as well. Release the hands, bring your gaze upright, go ahead and find a tabletop. Push the floor away. Think about lifting the back of the head high, tummy reaches in as well. Extend your right foot away, make sure that we didn't just lift up the right hip, keep it in place. Squeeze your thut as you allow your foot to rise up. Take a moment to grow long from the tip of your head through your body, out your toe. Full big inhale, tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Keep going as you do those tiny circles. Remember, it's making them small, tight. Pause last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. You feel your glutes working? I hope so. Contract the abdominal muscles more. Grow lung from your head through your body, out your toe. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, pull your knee to nose round in. Inhale, reach it out and away. As the knee comes in, think about drawing the shin closer towards your chest. It's a deep abdominal contraction each time the knee comes a little closer. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. Reach the foot out, pause, broaden across the chest. And then from here, I want you to flex the foot, externally rotate the leg, return parallel. Externally rotate the leg, return parallel. When we do that rotation arm, that comes way up high in the ball and socket joint. This time, rotate the leg, pause, point the toe once more, grow long from your head through your body, out your toe. Keep the external rotation. Can we do tiny circles here? Five, four, three, two, one, pause, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one one pause again five four three two one pause last time reverse five four three two one hold now again we're going to pull the knee up but towards the elbow and no moving of the spine just bring the leg as close to your right elbow as possible without moving through the body exhale pull it up inhale reach it back exhale pull it up inhale reach it back one more pull it up reach it back pause flex the foot return to parallel set it on the ground wiggle shake anything you need take the left foot out remember you can always pause and stretch the wrist if you need to think about the back of the head lifting high allow the leg to lift 
Are you arching the back? Can you squeeze your thigh butt connection point or your thut as so hard you could hold a pencil there? At the same time, grow long from the tip of your head through your body out your toe, tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Keep going. No moving of the hips, of the shoulders. Pause, that movement is just in the leg. Everything else is stationary but active. Pause, take a big inhale, exhale, knee to nose, round in. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Remember, it's the knee, the shin coming in, a light tip of the pelvis so we can feel those deeper tummy muscles working hard to pull the knee a little closer. Two more. Last one. Reach out, hold, flex the foot, push the heel away, broaden across the chest, rotate the leg, release. Rotate, release. Remember those rotations, they happen way up high in the ball and socket joint. Three more, two, Last one, keep the rotation, pause, point the toe again, push the floor away, broaden across the chest, make sure you're not jetting the chin forward or dropping it, tiny circles with that rotation. Five, four, three, two, one, pause, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, pause, again, five, four, three, two, one, pause, last time, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Stabilize the hand, stabilize the tummy, push the floor away, big inhale, draw the knee up to the elbow, push it away. Remember, with all your might, we're not moving through the spine. If your leg doesn't come up as close to your elbow as mine, that's okay. Try to keep the knee lifted as well. We're not letting it fall to the ground. Two more. Exhale, pull it in, reach it out. Last one, pull it in, reach it out, pause. Set the foot on the floor, tip back to a child's pose, crawl the hands away, tent the fingertips, head is heavy. Give it a nod, give it a shake. Come on up to a seat, whatever seat feels best for you. Grab the weights if you are going to use them. Now, when we do our Pilates um, arms, remember you don't have to have the weights to feel it. You could always set them down when you're ready. Elbows in. Open up, my weights, my hands are facing you, shoulders down, navel in, take a big inhale, exhale, push and pull. Now imagine that you're moving through peanut butter here. It is so hard to send the arms in and out with or without the weights. Three, two, last one, bring it halfway in, pause, elbows are pointing down, shoulders are relaxed. Rotate the elbows so they point backwards, rotate them down. Rotate them backwards and down. As we do those rotations, keep the shoulders soft, the neck long, the tummy working hard. Three more, two, Last one, rotate, hold, poke the elbows away, take a big inhale, pull the elbows in, poke the elbows back. Pull the weights in, poke it back. Keep the elbows and weights level the entire time, like you're sliding across a table. They can't droop, they can't go further down, they must stay at the same height. Notice if you're waving through your spine, just like when we were doing our little knee pull up towards the elbow, there's no movement in the spine, we're resisting. Two more. Last one, pull it in, pause. Keep the elbows lifted, take a big inhale, lift them up overhead on a count of four. Three, two, one, drop, four. Three, two, one, lift, four. Three, two, one one drop four three two one two more slowly bring it up slowly bring it down now this time take the elbows take the arms up pause straighten the arms push them up make a little v there's a little bit of space there if there's a soft bend in the elbow that's okay notice if you're arching the back contract the tummy muscles a little bit more i want you to broaden your v exhale pull it in Broaden the V, exhale, pull it in. Open and close. Open and close. Three, 
two, last one. Flip the weights, make a cactus, exhale, push it back to your V. Make a cactus, exhale, push it to a V. Down, exhale up. Down, exhale up. For three, two, last one. Lift, pause, take a big inhale. Slowly set it down. Just drop the weights wherever feels best. Wiggle out the fingers, hands to our lap, shoulders down, ears high. Take a big inhale. Drop your chin to chest. Roll your right ear to right shoulder. Chin back down to chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Chin back down. Bring your gaze up right. Reach your fingers away. Wiggle the fingers. Roll the shoulders backwards. Three, two, one. Roll them forwards. Three, two, one. Flip the palms. Stretch the hands up nice and high. Take a breath. Drop. Lean over to your right. Come on up. Lean over to your left. Come on up and relax, sitting tall, sitting straight. As always, pat yourself on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class. I cannot wait to see you again.